Well, on March 6th, 1857, 150 years ago today, not too far from where I'm standing, the Supreme Court rendered a decision. And that decision was the Dred Scott decision. Mm -hmm. And that decision looked like everybody who looked like me was not a citizen of this country. They made a decision 150 years ago today that Africans could not be citizens of this country. Well, we're grateful that there were some who fought against that and fought through civil wars and fought through mass lynchings and fought through segregation and fought through Jim Crow and fought through the civil rights movement and fought through what we saw in Katrina that there are bad decisions. And we as Americans, black and white, need to fight against bad decisions because if that had been in place today, I would not be standing here today. So there was a decision made. As a matter of fact, we know it wasn't even a decision. It was a decision to call out an all-out lie, to kill 600,000 plus Iraqis, 3,000 plus American troops. But now that because that decision was made, and I am now a proud because of these people, American citizen. When I graduated from Maxwell Air Force Base, officer training school as an officer in the United States Air Force, I received something that said, an officer first, but a leader always. It is our duty, if we want to fix this decision as Americans, that we march on the Pentagon. Dr. King said it best, and his exact quote was as follows. He said that a nation that continues year after year to spend more money on military defense than on programs of social uplift is approaching spiritual death. I don't know how this president sleeps at night. I don't know how this vice president sleeps at night. As a matter of fact, I don't know how Nancy Pelosi and Murtha, I don't know how they sleep at night. Because I can tell you for somebody who was an officer in the Air Force, I can't sleep at night knowing that these babies are laying in the ground who should not be there. That these mothers and fathers put their babies in the ground because of lies. How can we sleep at night knowing that 600,000 Iraqis, babies, are dead in a four year span? So we lost on the Pentagon. We lost on the Pentagon. 